it seems Obama scare may be twice as scary after the November elections. At this point things have gotten so bad with Obamacare that I'm going to start referring to it as Obama. Obama scare now packs a double barrel scare. Besides the scare of it not covering certain treatments referred to as end of life care, a second scare is the just announced price increase. But the sticker shock won't be revealed until after the November elections. And this price hike announcement for the so-called Affordable Health Care Act was intentionally was delayed until, after, the elections, for obvious slimy political reasons, and that increase is expected to be as much as a 78% price hike on premiums in some categories including the 23-year-old demographic, and mind you, this is not for extra coverage or benefits. This is simply a price hike for Obamacare. This is according to a study of insurance policies with an even scarier 14-word title. Since when do studies have 14-word long titles? Here, I'll try to pronounce it correctly. The study is called, Without Subsidies Women and Men, Old and Young, Average Higher Monthly Premiums with Obamacare. Wow, that's a mouthful. Oh, and speaking of a mouthful, if you have a mouthful of cavities, don't look to Obamacare to take care of your dental work. Hey, what do you expect? After paying a 78% hike in care, you don't really expect a big government product like Obamacare to include dental, do you? Get a life. And hope that the life you have isn't deemed in the category of end-of-life care when certain medications are not covered by Obamacare. How on earth did Congress ever pass such a horrible bill? Oh, because they intentionally left insufficient time for our elected representatives to read through thousands of pages of the final bill before the rushed vote. And rather than grant an extension, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi glibly said, I guess we're just going to have to pass the bill to see what's in the bill. Oh, and that bill, is becoming more and more about the bill, as in, the price tag with a possible 78% price increase. One question, considering the fact that your boss is already saddled with all sorts of expenses with a new health care bill, how do you suppose you would respond if you were to ask for an additional 78% pay raise to cover the extra costs of Obamacare?